Hey everyone, well the day has arrived, I've got to drill the plate and fit it to be pier. I'm not particularly happy about it but I have no choice, um, as my pier's homemade so I shall first do some pilot holes using an electric drill and then I shall use the drill press I've got there. It's only a cheap thing of Amazon but if it gets me drilling a straight hole then that's got to be, can't be a bad thing because the last attempt I've done on the Altair pier adapter I made a bit of a mess. So I mean it worked, it was solid but I wasn't particularly happy with it so hopefully this time it'll be better. Mocking up the new pair adapter to fit uh, for the CG Pro. So, pair adapter in situ. It's actually, it's a little bit wider than my pair, but not much. So, I think it should be okay. Um, of course, the holes on the pier, totally different place to where they are on, a, on here. So, I'm going to have to, because north is there. At that pin where the where the pin on an EQ6 would go, so that's north. Um, and the holes that's an original one, <laughs> and the other one's going to be about here, sort of in between. So, <sighs> this is going to be fun by using the rechargeable drill. I've just put a, started a few pilot holes, as you can see. I'm now going to drill all the way through. Well, I've got to say, that was really hard. <laughs> the drilling the holes on so bad, but drilling them out so they count as the cap heads that was pretty hard to do so but we're done so now time to fit it oh wait how did that get it oh, did put that there all right so let's hope that these line up bolted on. Now I know there's a bolt missing there but weirdly with the Pulsar adapter you only get three bolts even though you've got six holes so I'm gonna have to source another bolt for that one because the ones for the out here appear a bit short but other than that we're good. That's the pair part on the mount so now we just got to um, sort the rest out. Uh, It was hard work drilling them holes, I've got to admit, but now they're done, I'm glad they're done. So, because there's a lot of aluminium to go through. I'm a bit concerned that it's added a bit of height, but there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. So, uh, I hope the Rasa won't hit the roof, and I guess we'll see. <laughs>
the mountain actually didn't take as long as I thought it would. Um, excuse the mess in the observatory, I'm going to tidy up. But for the time being, and especially the wiring, I mean, that's horrendous at the moment. <laughs> I shall, I shall sort that out as well. But this is just, I'm going to connect to the, oh, I'll turn, talk about mini PC. Oh, I've got to plug it in. I shall plug my mini PC in and I shall connect to that remotely from indoors, but this is good to go now. Um, we have power. It connect, connects to a micro, is it micro USB? I shall go indoors and connect up and see how we get on. But for now, it is up and running. Well, it's up. It's not running yet. The raster is back. Um, and I was a little worried with the height. But it is just okay. I mean, it's literally about an inch from the roof. Although, to be fair, it's not properly balanced yet. So, I'm not got the cameras on yet. I'm just, it's just set up as it is for now. Um, so I may have to trim the dew shield down a little bit as I will show you. All up and operational. It's all connected via, via the PC as well so I can connect via Nina. I, I'm, I, I shall get a better. I don't know why they use a micro USB lead with these. Is it micro? Yeah. I don't know why I don't usually have a normal one on it but it would be a lot I think it would have been a better idea, but that's just me. Maybe that's just part of the kit, I don't know. It works, but I'm going to get a better quality one. That's just a pound line one, but it works. <laughs> so, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Which is weird, because when I charge my phone up with that cable, it won't work. It keeps dropping out. Anyway, you can see it's probably not even an inch from the roof, look. So yeah, I'm going to have to trim it down a bit more, I think. Which is a bit of an annoyance, but there's not a lot I can do. Um, other than that, it is in. I mean, I marked them to, to balance on the AZEQ6, and you can see it's, it's a little bit mirror heavy. It wants, still wants to go up that little bit, so it's not perfectly balanced. But anyway, it is in, it is on, and I shall assemble it probably in a couple of days because it's looking like we might get a clear night a clear sky so I'm going to try and give it a first light since flocking and since getting this mount running so it'll be interesting to see how it works and how it runs hopefully it'll be alright so wish me luck on that one just thought I'd add to the video. I've done a hack to my pole master. Um, I know I use Nina and there's a three point pair of alignment, but I find that's such a faff. Trying to get it to put a line, and yeah, you move it up a little bit. Or sometimes I've had it a lot of times where the uh, plate solvent's failed, and it's like, why? I can see stars on the screen. How has it failed? It's tracking. What's going on? Um, so I'm going to hack with my pole master because usually you have a pole master on the AZ EQ6 and I thought well there's no adapter on there, there's no pole scope there. And I know the EQ8, the pole master on that is off to one side a little bit, off in the mount. So how can I do this? One of them that, it's a um, finder, finder scope hub bracket for the smaller one, for the sky watches, the center ones, not the... 10 by 50s but the next one down it's still a metal bracket and because it's got an eq6 um adapter anyway it fits in and the thumb screws hold it in i hold it in perfectly not perfectly nice and solid so now with this i know i can get a polar line done in about five minutes easy and a lot less a lot less messing around I prefer the I can see Polaris. Obviously, the three-point polar, the three-point polar alignment. If you can't see Polaris or your pole or the southern pole, yes, it is. I can see the the advantages of it. But if you've got a clear view, then I'm quite happy to that. 
so that'll get me up and running quicker. Um, the cameras and everything are all connected now. I've, there's still some wires I've got to tidy up on top. I mean, I've got one of these. Oh, it's fit on the front of the rasa, so it aids with the um, not getting the diffraction spikes. So I am going to put that on at a later date. I need to do a first line of star test first, um, but since fitting the pier and everything else, it's been over a week, and it's just been rain, rain, <laughs> or clouds, or it's just been horrible weather. So when I'm going to get around to that, who knows? Um, but other than that, it's all balanced out, and I haven't had to trim the, the dew shield, but it's still close to that roof. Um, it's going to make opening the roof interesting. I might have to think about a different parking position for it and set it somewhere else. But for the meantime, it's ready to go. Everything's connected. It's ready to go. Camera's connected. Do do bands, do dream, everything else, yada, yada, yada. It's all ready to go. So we shall see. Um, so when I get a first light with it, I don't know. I was going to put a first light in, in with the video, but as it's been waiting and waiting and waiting, I thought, you know what, I'll just get the video out and then hopefully when I do get a first light, I can put that out. Um, I wanted to shoot Galaxy, but the moon's getting brighter and brighter, so the result probably won't be the best, but what can you do? Anyway, that's all I should do for now. Um, what I will add on the end of the video, if you have made it this long, made it this far rather um, we had an aurora um, last week it was the morning of the 24th and I'd gone to bed by then because it was cloudy and it wasn't looking great the clouds that go then they come back and then they go and it was just it was one of those sort of nights and I thought well I'll, I'll just leave the DSLR running it's only a very very short burst that I got but to get them in the UK especially in my location is quite rare so the camera picked it up, so it's nice to see. So I'll just pop that on the end of the video. Um, real cool thing to watch. We have had a couple of storms now, um, but that's the only one I've ever seen. I've never actually seen an aurora with my naked eye yet. So one day, now the sun's getting really active, I hope to um, actually see it with my own eyes and probably even bag it on camera as well. You know, get a decent sequence. So, but we'll see. Um, but for now, this is the update this is about the as far as i can update <laughs> so thanks for watching and a clear skies